Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. And today we're gonna to talk about the power of a strong password. So everybody knows that they should have a strong password, but what does that really look like? Most people use the same passwords over and over again, and they're really easy targets for the bad guys. So today I'm gonna to go over two easy steps to creating a really strong, secure, and easy to use password for your everyday accounts. Let's first start off with how your passwords are being compromised. The main way that your passwords are being compromised is that major breaches occur. So think of the Equifaxes, the LinkedIn, eBay, the target attacks. You hear about them on the news and you think to yourself, well, I barely even use those sites. How does that affect me? Well, what happens on those password breaches is the bad guys get big quantities of passwords and they sell them on the dark web to other actors who then use those passwords to try and attack your accounts. So what ends up happening is if you reuse your passwords, they are able to use those passwords and combinations of those passwords to go out and attack your regular accounts. So this is how it happens in reality. They've got your compromised password and then they do two different things to that password. They'll actually modify modify that password with a set of rules that they know that everybody uses. They'll replace A's with ats and exclamation points at the end, and they'll just do very small variations of that password. And they'll try it on every website, your eBay account, your Amazon account, your banking account, everywhere. They'll try those over and over again. If your password's not very long, it makes it very, very easy for them to do that. And even if your password is relatively long and complex, they have a set of rules that they know to attack and try variations. And it's very easy for a computer with the right set of rules to figure out what you as a human would have done to modify that password. The bad guys actually use two different tools to attack your passwords. They use what they call dictionaries, which are lists of commonly used words and phrases. And then they will use what they call rule sets, which are basically those little changes that you think that you're doing to a password to make them more complex. The real problem with this is that when we use these complex passwords, it's really hard for us to remember them. So having a different variation for every website is almost impossible. So what we do is we write them down everywhere, we use almost the same one every time, and most of us actually use the same password all over the place. Really insecure, very easy for the bad guys to attack. So what do we do? My first recommendation is going to be to create a strong master password. We actually use something called Diceware. Diceware is a way of randomly generating a password with a list of commonly used words. These word phrases are very easy to remember, and they're very easy to type in if you have to type them in. So how does Diceware work. Diceware is a simulation of dice rolls. So it takes five dice and it rolls them and it gets a number. And whatever number that it shows up is on a list of actually 7,776 words. And so it grabs those at random. So what you're able to do is take several of these simulated rolls and add them together to create a phrase of words. I recommend that you use six or seven words together. And I'll show you some examples here. We actually use this in our cybersecurity talk. The example on your screen shows you a traditional password, Troubadour 03 there. With all the replacements the at and the o's and it looks really complex. Obviously that's gonna be a very difficult password to remember and to the computer, it's not as complex. Below, you'll see the correct horse battery staple diceware password. It's only four words long and I recommend that it be longer than that, but it's really easy to remember this. And in our cybersecurity uh, training, we do this slide at the very beginning of the training. And at the end of the training, an hour later, I can ask in the room, what's the password and everybody will say correct horse battery staple. It's very easy for the human mind. You can see the little pictorial there with the battery staple and the horse saying battery staple and the guy saying correct. That's very easy for a human to remember those kind of word associations. Also, you think that's, oh, that's a long password, Clay. I don't ever want to type that in. Well, first of all, you're not going to type it in very often, but that being all lowercase, just regular words with spaces in between them, it's very, very quick to type that. Most of us can type correct horse battery staple really, really quickly and much quicker actually than the shorter Troubadour one because we don't have to use the shift key and the weird characters that we're not, not used to typing. So step number two is gonna to be to use a password manager. The beautiful thing about the password manager is we'll set it up with our master password. But once we're in, we let the password manager generate passwords for every site that we go to. We let them create unique, long, complex passwords. The beautiful thing as well is we can use the password manager's built-in password generator to generate passwords of whatever complexity the website needs. So if you have a website that doesn't use certain characters or requires you to use certain characters, you can specify that in the password manager. Really easy, really quick, and very efficient. The other nice thing about the password manager is you can install it on every device. So you can have it on your cell phone, your laptop, your main computer, your iPad, everywhere. And some of those devices will allow you to use your fingerprint or facial recognition to get into the password manager, which makes it super quick and easy. I personally use 1Password. I pay for it annually. I pay about $3 a month 
month, but you can also pay for it on a monthly subscription if you don't wanna pay for it annually. If you are using Google as your password manager, which a lot of people do, you can see that they've added a dark web scan over the last couple months, where they'll actually tell you which of your passwords are compromised. That's a great addition to Google's password manager, and I think it's something you should check out. If you're using it, you can see where your passwords have been compromised and easily go out there and fix them. If there's one big takeaway from this video, it's to never ever reuse a password. With a password manager, using multiple complex passwords everywhere, if you're, com if you're ever compromised or any website that you use is ever compromised, you're easily able to just delete that one password or reassign that one password for that one site. And the person that got that password will never be able to use it against you on another site. We also recommend you check out our other videos on multi-factor authentication, but I think that multi-factor authentication in conjunction with a good password policy really will leave you in a strong position against the bad guys. If you like this video and this is the kind of content that you're into, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.